Hello, welcome to version 6.5, importing data directly from the SD card into the list. Uh, I'm going to begin slightly differently. I'm going to begin by using the uh, spreadsheet program on my computer. I've typed some numbers into the spreadsheet here. It's a very common program. Uh, almost everybody has access to it. And you'll notice I typed in four columns of uh, uh, data here, various links. And all I have to do to use it in my application is to simply save it as a CSV file. That's .csv. It's one of the options from the pull-down box, so it's uh, really easy to do this. Uh, once you save this data, you're going to want to import it into your app. And so I've saved it to the SD card. Let's just say I, I have done that already. And I've replaced the SD card into my phone. So now to get it into the app, I simply click on edit list. Uh, just like I was going to go type in the data myself, you'll notice that they're empty right now, but I'm going to import this new data. So I click on menu, I touch more. There's a new option at the very bottom, import CSV. I click on that. Uh, it's going to show me all the places I could import data from. Of course, I want to import from my SD card and I want to import the sample data I just created so I click on that and what will happen is it will automatically put that data into my list you can see here's uh, three lists and I can scroll over and show you list four there it is so all the data got put in here uh, and I didn't have to do any typing I've had many people ask for this feature so I finally got it working properly. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, work on saving or exporting data from the phone up to the SD card. Uh, doesn't seem to be quite as big a, a concern for most people, so uh, I didn't do those at the same time. I will work on that. And so this one is working. It works in MathPack. It works in StatsPack. And it also works in the MathPack Plus. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching this little video.